Here we go to Coach Polly C. Austin, Texas. Okay, it's December 28th and we're gonna finish the year, maybe, I think this is the last video, on focus. Focus for the follow-up because when we're following up with people and um, sometimes we don't even realize, should we be following up with these people? Should we even be talking to these people? Because we get excited because people say they're gonna do something. They wanna do something and we haven't even clarified two, count them, two, serious points for figuring out how to follow up and when to follow up. So first of all, uh, number one is, is action, okay? So when are they gonna take action? So we have uh, four different levels on the Vision Realty Group in Austin, Texas when we're uh, qualifying leads to figure out if it's 30 days or less, look, that's an appointment lead. Okay, that's somebody who I need to get in front of ASAP and I'm calling them every week, maybe multiple times a week. If it's 90 days or less, they're in the red zone. So red zone means, look, they may not be doing anything for uh, two or three months out, but I'm still following up on them uh, once a month until they're 30 days out that I'm following up with them more aggressively uh, based off of the appointment lead follow-up that I just gave you. And so in the red zone, look, even though they may not be uh, doing anything for two or three months or now I want to get in front of them because uh, I'm qualifying them through trial close questions like in the playbook. You can email me uh, at the, uh, the real sales talk at gmail.com. You can email me the real sales talk at gmail.com for a copy of the playbook. And in the playbook, we talk about trial closes like, hey, if Mr. Uh, buyer, if we found the perfect home for you and it met all your criteria, you were happy, you were comfortable, you were confident that this was the perfect home for you, would you consider making an offer in the next 30 to 60 days? and they say yes, well then look, I need to get in front of them. I need to be talking to them and building the relationship in the red zone, the 90 day time frame. Now they could be a watch, that's 90 to 180 days, or they could be a nurture, 180 days plus. And look, that helps me figure out when they're moving forward exactly, because they may say something like spring. Well, hey, there's three months of spring, approximately, I think, last time I checked. So when in the spring, early spring, late spring, when in May, the beginning of May, late May, because we get all hopped up and excited that somebody says that they're gonna do something and we really don't even know when exactly that's going to happen. Okay, so look, I know I'm talking fast today. It's because it's the end of the day and I wanna go home and also because I'm packing in a lot here and I know all of your attention wanes. Isn't that true? Say yes. So I gotta keep you entertained and move fast because there's a lot of information here. Okay, follow me. Uh, I'm, uh, we're talking about action and figuring out when they're gonna take action and uh, how it's important to them. Okay, so two questions. I've done this in previous videos in regards to their motivation around them taking action. Uh, what's important about moving? Whether it's a buyer or a seller, what's important about it? Now look, most of you, hear me, most of you are not getting this information. You got the surface level information, three bedroom, two car, two bath, Leander, uh, but what's important about that? And when you go deep and you're at the root of motivation, look, you're going to get better conversation. Rapport is gonna go up, trust is gonna go up. And so what's important about that? Second question for motivation, what does that do for you? Okay, so it sounds a little something like this. So I understand you wanna to move to Florida, Mrs. Seller, and so what's important about moving to Florida? To be closer to your mom. Okay, I understand being closer to your mom, what's that do for you? Now look, when you, when you uh, ask the question what's important to you and you repeat and approve using what they just said, segueing into what's that do for you, man, imagine how, uh, how much it sounds like you care because we know relation, uh, real estate's about relationships and you want to sound like you care. So look, I'm giving you the exact formulas to be able to step up your game and when somebody says they wanna do something versus just rushing into a follow-up and not under, understanding when they're moving exactly or how it's important to them and what that does for them, that's deep-rooted motivation questions. Two of them I gave you. Then look, we could be wasting a lot of time. All right, now second thing that I see people missing is the fact that they're, they're, there'll be real consideration. How many times have you followed up with somebody and they said, well, actually I have a realtor and, and I, don't, I, would never, I wouldn't use your services. We haven't gotten clarification that 
uh, they would actually consider our services. So second biggest mistake is that um, we haven't created value or uh, uh, clarity around uh, setting the appointment. Okay, so so would they consider our services? Yes, they would. Just ask the question. So uh, would it be possible to earn your business in the next 90 days, 90 to 180 days, 180 days plus, whatever the time frame is that you just established? And they say yes. Okay, and then you can follow up with them versus wasting your time with someone who's never gonna do business with you. Now look, if they're in the red zone, look, we're, we're looking for an opportunity to create value around the appointment, uh, an opportunity for the appointment. So what's the opportunity for the appointment? Well, well, hey, look, um, at the Vision Realty Group, we're talking very specifically about three pieces of value at the appointment, regardless of whether you're a buyer or seller, and it's in the playbook under the opportunity close, where, hey, look, this is about timing. And let's sit down and talk about timing around the market, because we all know it's all about timing and figuring out when the best time is for you. So that'll be the first thing, Mr. Buyer, that we'll talk about when we sit down. And look, also I'll bring you some inside market information. This is information that you can't get online. Now we say that in Texas because they don't post sold values online. Now you may not say that, but you could still say inside market information because you have data that they haven't seen from the MLS. So that is inside market information and you could bring it to them because uh, number three is figuring out um, how to get the highest price possible. And look, we'll talk about that on, um, on, on being able to do that with one of three groups of buyers that we work with, investors, wholesalers, primary homeowners, because look, we are talking to investors and wholesalers, and we always do have somebody who's willing to make an offer. So let's sit down and talk about one of those three groups and, and what that might look like on how to get the highest price possible. And then look, we finish with disassociation of commitment from the outcome. Mr. Seller, I know you're not gonna do anything unless it makes sense for you and the timing has to be right, right? And they agree. And I said, great, so let's just sit, we can talk and I'll share. And when you use comfortable words like that, then you can get to a point of removing pressure, disassociating commitment from the outcome and just having a conversation because conversation is the relationship and we know sales is all about relationships so I'm giving you the formulas to be able to have better follow-up, be more efficient, convert leads faster, help more people. Real sales talk, share, follow. Write a comment, do something for God's sake. All right, happy new year, talk to you guys soon.